Collaborating in teams can be great, but one of the problems that I've noticed is that people will just dump a whole bunch of documents into the files tab in Teams without any thought for organization, and it becomes a huge mess. One of the ways that you can fix this problem is to create views so that you can quickly find the information that you're looking for. I've navigated to Microsoft Teams and I'm in the Instructor Corners channel under the Files tab. For this demonstration, I've just dumped in a whole bunch of files for us to look at. Now the default view in Microsoft Teams is the All Documents view. One of the ways that you can search for files is you can click on the filter option and you have the basic choices of filtering by document types. And that can be okay, but if you have a lot of documents on several different subjects, this really isn't going to organize your files very well. One of the things that I like to do is add an additional column because really this files tab is nothing more than a list. So if I add a column to the list, I can then create views around that column. So in this example, I'm just going to select a text column and hit next. And then I'm just going to call this column application because each of the instructors files their documents by application name. Now, of course, you're going to create your column based on whatever makes sense for your business process. One of the tips that I would suggest is to use the drop down for more options and then scroll down until you find require this column contains information and change the toggle to yes. And then all you have to do is click save. Now chances are you already have files in your files tab. So a yellow warning box is going to pop up letting you know that this is now a required field. If you click on the warning, you can open up the dialog box and type in the application name. But let's be real here. If you're like me and you had a bunch of files, you're not gonna want to go through and do these one by one. So what I would suggest as a tip is to clean up your files by going into edit and grid view. It's much easier to type all of the information here in the edit and grid view. And if you have duplicating pieces of information, you can drag and drop that down so that you save on how much time you have to type. With the fake data updated, it's now time to use the filter under application name to create our views. So first I'm going to click filter by and select any of these applications. Let's say teams, and then I will click apply. Now all I see are files that are associated with Teams. Now go up to the top of the screen and click the drop down next to all documents and then click save view as. When I do that, I can update the name from all documents and call it Teams. I'm gonna leave this as a public view so everyone on this team can use this filter. And then from there, click on save. Notice that at the top of the screen, the filter is now set to Teams, but all documents still exists. So the default is still all documents, but I can use the Teams filter if I need to. Now you can repeat the process and add and save as many filters as you want to help organize your files. Now let's say you need to add new files to the Files tab. You can still drag and drop your files just like you did before, but now there will be a yellow warning to remind all team members to fill in the application column. If someone forgets or they just don't do it, you can go to All Documents and filter by Files That Need Attention to quickly identify those that need to be cleaned up so that your filters will continue to work as intended. Using file views is one way to organize your documents. I know someone is thinking, why not just use folders? You can do that as well. It really depends on the business processes in your organization. Hopefully this quick tip just gives you additional ideas. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.